In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create realistic buttons using gradients in Illustrator. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. To begin, we'll start with the ellipse tool. Starting in the upper corner and dragging down, hold in the shift key to create that perfect circle. We're going to come up here in our options menu and remove the stroke or border from that shape. For the fill, we'll choose our black to white default gradient. We're going to want to change this gradient, so go ahead and show your gradient panel by coming to Window Gradient. We can see in the gradient panel that this is a linear gradient. We're going to change our degree here though and make it 90 degrees. Now it goes from black at the top to white at the bottom. All you have to do now is copy this shape with Command or Control C. You can paste it in place with Command or Control F or edit paste in front. So all we have to do to see it is scale it down. We're going to come here to the scale tool and double click it. Let's say we reduce it uniformly by 80%. Clicking OK, you can see that there are two circles, but we're not getting that pressed button effect because the gradients are both going in the same direction. So last step, you're going to come over here and make it minus 90 degrees. Clicking enter, voila! But we don't have to stop here. How would you like a free cheat sheet? What now? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Woo! Just click the link below. You don't have to stick with the default gradients that come in Illustrator, as I explained in my Graphics Girl Ultimate Guide to Gradients com. that you can watch after this video. It's not adding that much realism because white to black is kind of extreme. Here, if I select this gradient in my gradient panel, you can see it goes from white to black. I'm going to change the color of this first spray can by showing both my gradient and my swatches panel at the same time. If you have your gradients docked, you might want to pull it out. So to change this color, select that first spray can and choose a light shade of gray. I'm going to go with 20% gray. You see here, you grab it in the gradients panel and drag it down into that spray can. I could do the same with the circle behind it, or I can go ahead and use my eyedropper tool to eyedrop or sample the circle in front of it. When I click on the selection tool or V to click off, you can see that both have been adjusted. But this is just one type of button. What if I click Alt or Option and drag that button to create its inverse? If I select now this circle and instead of minus 90, I made that 90 and the one behind it I'll make minus 90. Now I have the complete inverse of that first button. So this would be an example of the button being pushed on and off. So that's how you can create realistic looking buttons using gradients in Illustrator. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like, Woo! share it with your friends, hey! and please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.